All right, so this free AI tool is going to change the virtual tryouts forever. I have already shared some free methods to change the clothing with AI, but this one, I would say this is perfectionist. And I'm saying that because it follows the patterns and each and everything so perfectly that it doesn't feel like this is AI generated. And this one is called IDM VTON, improving diffusion models for authentic virtual tryouts in the wild. And I'm not sure, uh, is this from the Alibaba group or any other group because Alibaba group have already shared some really unique open source models with us but i'm not sure about this one so if you guys have any details about this one let me know in the comment section so if i scroll down you can see these are some of the examples from this ai tool so you can see this nvidia ceo was wearing a leather jacket and then they gave it an input image of a t-shirt and now this guy is wearing a t-shirt and even the arms are looking really really good and these are a couple of more examples you can do this thing with the formal t-shirts you can do this thing with the jeans trousers and our Elon Musk is wearing a trouser. It looks very funny. And uh, you can also do this thing with the dresses. For example, Billie Eilish is wearing this pink dress. And uh, these are a couple of more examples. You can do this thing with the t-shirts, printed t-shirts. Even with the complicated uh, patterns, it performs really, really good. So as I mentioned earlier, this is free and open source. So that means you can even install this locally. But that is a lengthy process. But don't worry if you don't have any high-end GPU and if you don't want to go through from that complicated process as usual i have a free online solution for this and this is going to be hugging face so this is the hugging face space you can see this url you will also find this url in the description below so this is a very clean interface of this ai or uh, you can see we have the um, option to upload our input model then we also have the option to upload our dresses here and you can see these are a couple of more pre-generated models and pre-generated dresses so let's try to pick one of them. So the process is simple. You just have to select your model. So let's say we have this model. And now I just want this lady to wear this t-shirt. So we have our model. We have our input image. So to get the more detailed and accurate results, you have to describe your prompt. So just describe the prompt what she is wearing. So a black printed t-shirt. And now simply scroll down and hit this try on button. And one more unique feature that I missed here is this auto generated mask so what it does if you check this box the ai will automatically mask out the dress area so you don't need to do this manually well we also have the manual option that we're going to try later in the video but first of all let's see how does it perform with this one all right so here we have the masked version of this lady and it generated a very uh rough kind of mask not so perfect and if i scroll down this is our ai generated output image and if I open this in a new tab, you guys can see how accurate and perfect it looks. It doesn't feel like this is AI generated. You can see the pattern is same. Even the text on the t-shirt looks very, very perfect. So if we compare this with our input image or our initial image, so this is the original version and this is the AI generated version. And you guys can see the shirt pattern, text, each and everything is so perfect. So that's why I call this AI tool perfectionist now we are not just limited to the t-shirts you can also do this thing with the dresses and tank tops or the other things so let's try this thing uh with this model and we're gonna wear this blue dress and again in the prompt section we have to describe our dress so i don't know what this dress actually is. so i'm gonna just type blue dress and again hit try on so by the time it's generating the output image, let's talk about it, some advanced features. So if we click on this advanced settings, we have denoising strength and also the seed number. So what the denoising strength does, it defines how much creativity do you want in your image. Let me show you with an example. So if I keep this denoising strength around 70%, so let's generate a one more variation and then we will compare both of the results side by side. All right, so here are both of these images. So this image is with the 30% denoising strength and this one with the higher denoising strength. So you can see very minor changes in terms of the wrinkles and all that stuff. But overall, the dress is very consistent in both of these images and it looks very natural. So in case if you don't like the AI masking, that I would say is good and uh, also a time saving. You can also try the manual method. So you can click on this brush icon and you can just paint the area that you want this AI to select. Now let's try the one last example. So I'm going to use this CEO of NVIDIA and we will try this Mickey Mouse t-shirt. And I would like to keep the denoising strength around 10% and hit try on. All right, so this is the output image and it looks very bad. The results are good, the replacement is good, but where this thing came from. So this was the initial image, 
this is the AI generated image. AI did a really good job, but this t-shirt doesn't really suit this guy. But you can also uh, implement this tool inside of the Comfy UI workflow. So you can follow this video because I think I'm not the right person to teach you how to install this inside of the Comfy UI. And if I get 100 likes on this video, I will share a one more free AI tool that no one is talking about on a YouTube. So that's it from today. I hope you guys enjoyed this AI tool. And if you want more free stuff like this one, just let me know in the comment section and see you guys in the next one.